don't know if it's a mistake. Apparently, that's delivery for here. Um, hopefully, it is. Hopefully, it starts. Hopefully, you can have a little fun of it with it. But I would be very impressed if this is truly supposed to be delivered here. There must be a mistake. There must be a mistake. We don't do this kind of cars. We cannot ship them. They're too big. They don't go into containers. They do not go into containers. There's no way. There is no way this is for here. Well, let's see. It was a mistake. He actually was on his way out after delivering this car, which I guess was on the flat part of his bed. Um, so he came all the way from Winnipeg to Montreal only to deliver this car. And he was uh, on his way back, uh, continuing to Quebec to deliver the other truck, the military truck. So, yep, it was not uh, meant to be on this yard. Since we are on the war subject, now the next car for the first uh, container will be this one, which looks like it went through war. This is the cheaper version that's a wannabe trying to be like this. So, <clears throat> this is the real deal. If you want um, the, the real Mercedes experience, you know you, 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 you're going to get it with this one. It's powerful, it sounds good, it's uh, extremely refined on the inside
you have the new screen which is two screens integrated into one panel uh, you can see here that uh, it's uh, a black uh, non uh, not, it's a non-displayable uh, piece of the whole panel so it's really two screens integrated into one then you have the switches over here now the whole part over here clicks but you have small touch um, features which are separated It's a weird um, touch and I, it's a bit complicated to use. So you can see that it's... I'm sorry, can you say that again, please? The volume is totally tactile. So fingerprint, finger touch. I don't know how you call it. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. And I can already feel like it takes a little bit of training and a uh, uh, little bit of time to get used to it. I can't, right now, at the moment, I cannot get used to it. I, do, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to, like I see here as an OK button with many f uh, arrows and I'm not sure how it work at all. So it's, uh, I'm confused at the moment. It's not user friendly, I, I can't, it's not like an iPhone. It's worse than a Samsung as well. Those buttons over here are fairly simple. So that's good. At least you will be cold in the summer and warm in the winter because the buttons work in a user-friendly way. Here, if you if you are used to the AMG version, then you're gonna see here that um, there's a lot less options. You can only switch between comf Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus. There is no exhaust uh, exhaust noise. Um, so there's no transmission options. So all of that is not here. You barely even hear the exhaust on this car. Barely. So it's quiet. Now I love that the door does not come with a frame. So it's a frameless window. Even the rear doors. Ah, uh, no, not the rear doors. You still get some part of the frame that stays there, whatever happens. So, I think they could have done better, but I'm not gonna complain about it at the moment. <laughs> you have your. Uh, special audio speakers chromed on each side nice leather um, not much room for your feet but it does look comfortable and if you can manage to sit it is quite comfortable it's acceptable And you really good. You really have a nice view from the inside of here. Although there is not much uh, room for your head, um, I'm not a big, big person, and I already feel like my hair is touching the the roof. So it's not a car f for adults to sit in the back. It's not not like the S class or even the E class.
this car really looks mean uh, on, the, on the front and and confused on the back the front is definitely um, well made but the rear not as much but I guess it's okay and no spare tire unlike the GLA which I tested uh, yesterday uh, this one does not have a spare tire they don't want you messing with the tires if you're um, if you're stuck because of, of a flat uh, you have to wait for a towing there is not even any kit to, any repair kit to um, inflate uh, your tires so you, they really just want you to wait on the side of the road So that's a six cylinder because it says so and I'm, I, I'm sure there's twin turbos on it I can't see them yet oh maybe that's a turbo maybe not I see the oil filter that's quite nice easily accessible um, yeah I think that that's a turbo and then you have your oxygen sensor over there anyway anyways oh and um, I wonder why I wonder why the sunroof is so small like most competitors are already able to make a full panoramic uh, sunroof even if the car has some different styled curb but this one doesn't car is too low is there a way no there's not even a way uh, to lift the car on this car I don't see any way to lift the car if I wanted to um, even put it putting it in sport or comfort does not does not move the suspension I don't think this car has uh, uh, airbag suspensions I'm gonna check just one size park uh, I'm trying to make the AC work somehow. So, oh, that's too much. So what? That's one feature that is missed uh, in this car. Being a CLS, I would have thought that um, the airbag suspension would be standard. Now, I'm sure I'm not mistaken, it's not there. It is not.
كيف كيف فيها من هون لهون؟ كانت تمشي Come on, don't talk about it.